74 political parties, the list here today by INEC. Some of the popular faces you see on your screen and the platforms they ran on in 2019 presidential election have now become history. And President Muhammad Buhari today got a briefing from the Economic Advisory Council headed by Professor Doyin Salami in what they say is a far-reaching implication for Nigeria's economy. We'll find out the details of that meeting. Hello everyone and welcome to the program. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm sure Kimalia Channels Television's global headquarters in Lagos. What a day it has been politically. Interesting scenario playing it out with some shocking news coming out of INEC. We'll get to that in a bit. Let's now check out some other stories we're following for you on our political roundup. To security matters, the fight against terrorism and other forms of insecurity may have received a major boost with the induction of three attack helicopters today by President Mohamed Buhari in Abuja. At the launch of the aircraft, the president said two Augusta 109P helicopters and one MI-171E helicopter will assist the Air Force in the tackling of the contemporary security challenges. In his address, President Buhari promised that his administration would justify the trust Nigerians have reposed in him. He said the acquisition of these aircraft among among several other military equipment, despite budgetary constraint, is an expression of that commitment. This is coming about a year after the president inducted two Augusta helicopters into the Air Force. President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, has named a 57-member Constitution Review Committee. The committee is chaired by the Deputy President of the Senate, Ovio Margege, and comprises one senator from the 36 states and two from each of the six geopolitical zones. It will also comprise the principal officers of the Senate, who will further serve as members of the steering committee. Senator Lawan charged the committee to engage the public and ensure that diverse views are considered during the review process. We, as a National Assembly, particularly the Senate, we want to have a very stable country. We want to have a country that gives every citizen the opportunity to actualize his or her dream. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us. So much to talk about. Some very important issues that got you talking in the vast uh, past few minutes uh, will get our attention tonight. Let's uh, get our first stop at the presidential villa, uh, where President Muhammad Buhari has received briefing from the Economic Advisory Council today at the presidential villa in Abuja. The Economic Advisory team was led by its chairman, Professor Doni Salami, while the Minister of Finance and the Minister of State for Budget were also present at that briefing. The president set up the Economic Advisory Council last year to advise him on issues related to the economy. received its executive summary of your first report and I commend you, Mr. Chairman, and each member for your patriotism in agreeing to serve your country in this capacity. Thank you very much. The economy is the most delicate. The economy is the most delicate and sensitive of all aspects of national life. A little change in the inputs in the metrics can lead to major disruptions in the national economy. For Nigeria, international changes in oil prices, bad harvests, conflicts in strategic global locations, a global pandemic like we are experiencing now with coronavirus, tariff changes in major world economies to mention only a few examples that readily came to mind can significantly affect our own plans and fortunes. In the circumstances, I cannot overemphasize the importance of your task. I am highly pleased, based on what I have read in your executive summary of the depth and painstaking thoroughness of your preliminary report. This bodes well as you properly get to grips 
with complex states of the economy and came up with options for policy direction. Well then, let's get a sense of what came out of that meeting. Uh, in a brief moment, we'll be speaking with the president's uh, uh, special uh, um, ad assistant on media and publicity, Mr. Garba Shewu, who joins us via Skype tonight. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Shewu. I can see in some of the pictures that you were present at that meeting. A lot of people have been expecting that meeting, the briefing with the president, which, of course, we know uh, the Doi Salami-led committee is to advise the president. Is another thing entirely for the president to take uh, that those advice and implement it. But from what came out of that, Mr. Mr. Shewu, with the uh, rate of inflation that has been impacted badly in the last three or four months, what is the most significant thing that came out of that meeting that will gladden the hearts of many Nigerians? Quickly, I will give you four things. One is that they have discovered a disturbing lack of coordination and the synergy between government ministries, departments, and the agencies. And they said this is taking away so much from smooth and effective running of the administration. And they suggested that the president should consider setting up a policy program implementation coordinating office. And the president was quick to see this and to ask that the secretary to the government of the federation should, uh, should uh, bridge whatever gaps that are there and that uh, since we are pursuing one agenda, there is no room for personal agendas that divide government agencies and departments. The, press, the committee also asked for budget discipline and the performance. And they said revenue is failing the nation. And a lot of spending is also outside the budget. And they said this has to stop. Now, they also ask, thirdly, that uh, state agencies should be made to pay in more into the coffers of the admin, of the federation. Under the existing regulation, they're supposed to pay in, they're supposed to retain 80% and anything in excess of 80% of earned revenue they will pay. Now, they are hydro revenues. And the committee is saying, look, henceforth, the president should approve one thing, that a minimum of 25% of earned revenue should be paid into the federal government's account, no, no, notwithstanding, you know, whatever, you know, claims they would like to make. And then fourthly, then they also express concern about the ways and means borrowing uh, from the Central Bank of Nigeria, which they said is exerting um, a lot of pressure on the balance sheet of the Central Bank, and that this needs to be said. I think these are the key highlights that I will okay. talk to you about. I mean, uh, interesting that truth is being said at that meeting. Some of the major concern of experts and economists across the country on our economy. But before I allow you to go, Mr. Shewu, give us a sense of what happened afterwards. After the committee presented uh, his advisory, what is the commitment of the president? Did he make any commitment as a policy decision at that meeting? President said his administration would be bound by all of the decisions all of the advice that they give. He will accept everything. He rule out anything. In addition to that, he also varied the schedule for meetings. Initial plan was for them to meet face to face with the president quarterly. The president said, no, I need to meet you more frequently in order that the nation gains from the enormous. In fact, he praised, he praised them to high heavens for commitment and patriotism and for accepting to serve this country at this time. So, I mean, uh, just in 10 seconds, tell us what should Nigerians be expecting urgently, immediately, as an impact from that meeting? I think that uh, this issue of coordination is very key to everything. Discipline is important, and we should look to this committee instituting that uh, in, to assist the government to institute that. Thank you so much, Mr. Garba Shehu, Senior Special Assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity. Thank you for giving us a sense of what happened behind closed door in that meeting. Thank you so much for talking to us.